Hey guys, how are y'all doing? My name is Nate, and today I'm here with an advanced rocket jumping tutorial. This is the second part out of rocket jumping tutorial, so if you haven't seen the basics part, you should go check it out here. This little video, right here, see it? Go check it out. And if you have seen it, good for you! Today we're going to be covering all the advanced stuff to rocket jumping, such as speed pogoing, surfing up ramps, and sinking and all of that. Let me tell you, the advanced part to rocket jumping is so much more fun than the basics. Your mobility is increased, you can fly around the map, you can do all sorts of crazy, insane tricks and stuff. So hopefully you can get something from this video, so that one day you can be professional rocket jumper. So first off, we're going to start with the speed pogoing. This is kind of like the normal pogoing where you just hop up and down on the ground, but this time we're going to add a lot of speed to it, and this is probably what you're going to use the most when you rocket jump. Now when you're in your pogo, you're basically just looking straight down at the ground and holding down the fire button, of course. But when you're speed pogoing, there's a whole lot more to it. The timing is a lot different, and you're going to be aiming at different places so they can keep your speed the whole time. When you start off with the normal pogo, for the most part you're just going to be looking straight down at the ground. But once you start getting speed, with every jump you're going to have to look slightly more upward. And as you can see when you get really fast, we're going to be aiming a lot higher than just straight down. Because when you're moving forward, you need your rocket to catch up with you. If you look straight down, your rocket's going to land far behind you and you won't be able to fly forward. So really if you just practice this, you can get the hang of it really quickly. I would suggest before starting a pogo, they aim a bit behind yourself so that you can give yourself a lot more speed. This sets you up for the other jumps, but they can go really fast or really quickly. The way I like to pogo is to just shoot off of a wall and immediately follow that up with a speed pogo. Now, like I said before, there's going to be a lot of timing when you do this as well. Because you're not only going to be using pogos on flat surfaces, you're going to be doing it up hills and stuff like that. So you have to get the hang of shooting the rocket and knowing when it's going to land. Now pogos are going to be especially useful when you want to get to the front of the line quickly. And you can basically keep all of your speed up in the air, and it's a whole lot faster than just walking everywhere. Now figuring out where to aim is kind of hard to explain. It's sort of one of those things where you have to practice over and over, you sort of get the hang of it. Like you mess up and you'll be like, oh, I should probably aim a little bit more behind myself that time. And you do it and then it works and you're like, oh, maybe next time I should aim a little bit higher. So it just comes down to practicing it, trying it out for yourself, and then you'll really understand how it works. Next up we're going to be talking about surfing. And basically surfing is done by getting a lot of speed and sliding up a ramp or a set of stairs. Now surfs are really convenient to know because it'll save you the trouble of shooting another rocket at your feet to get somewhere. It's basically just giving you more distance without having to shoot another rocket. Plus you can stay low to the ground and still keep all of that speed. And you can also use surfs to set you up for cooler jumps and stuff. Now the basic way you're going to surf up a ramp is you're going to get a lot of speed first and you're going to want to stay close to the ground as you can. And right before you get to the ramp or the set of stairs, you're going to shoot a rocket right down to your feet, and once you hit the ramp you're just going to slide right up, just like that. Now sometimes if you shoot too early or too late, you may hit the ramp at an awkward angle, and you won't be able to slide up. So it's kind of about getting the timing and being at the right spot for it. And remember to stay at the lowest angle that you can. When you stay at a low angle, it'll be a whole lot easier to slide up. And obviously if you come in from a really high angle, you're not going to slide up. This can be a little bit hard to pull off if you don't get enough speed. Now remember that surfs can also work on stairs, it doesn't just have to be a ramp. Next up, we're going to be talking about rocket jumping in the water. I probably could have explained this in the basics video because it's actually pretty easy to do, but I figured I'd mention it anyway. When you're in the water, all you really need to do is hold space, you can stay floating as long as you want. And all you really have to do is shoot at walls and floors and stuff. And as you can see, by just holding space and shooting at different surfaces, I can keep my speed for as long as I want. And all I'm really doing is just strafing around with A and D. And basically, I can just keep shooting and keep getting up my speed as long as I hold space. So it's really not that hard, and it's like a super easy way to just get a lot of speed. Now this isn't as useful as many of the other jumps, of course, because there aren't very many maps that have water. But it's something important to know for other jump maps and stuff like that. And it's actually a lot of fun to do. And next up here, we're going to be talking about C-tapping. Now you may have heard this before and you probably have no idea what it is. And basically all it is is getting a bit more height than you could with a normal rocket jump. Now it's not super important to know how to C-tap, but you can actually use this in a lot of jumps. And the little distance you get can actually make a big difference. And basically all C-tap is, is you're tapping the crouch button, and you're using the upward momentum from the crouch into your rocket jump. So you're just getting a tiny bit more distance when you go up into the air. So instead of pressing crouch immediately when I rocket jump, I'm just lightly tapping crouch, and as I come up from the crouch, I rocket jump up into the air. Now this is actually really tricky to pull off, and a lot of people have trouble doing it. Especially me, I can barely do C-tapping. But once you understand how to do it, you can actually pull it off quite a few times. So what I would do if you want to practice this, I would just practice lightly tapping crouch while you're walking. If you do it good enough, you won't lose any speed while you're walking, and you can see yourself move up and down, just like this. And this is basically where C-tapping comes from, because it's crouch tapping. This is one of the trickiest jumps you can learn in rocket jumping. 
Next up, we're going to be talking about sinks. And basically, a sink jump is when you're jumping off multiple rockets at the same time and in the same place. Now again, this isn't going to be super useful in most games, but you'll really want to know how to do this for future jumps because they are in almost every jump map you come to. Plus, it can actually be really useful when you're mark guarding too. Now, sink jumps are actually kind of tricky to pull off because mostly it's just timing. It's just about getting enough rockets to hit the same place at the same time. And usually, you're only going to use two rockets. The first rocket you shoot is the one while you're still up in the air and you're falling towards the ground. The second rocket you shoot is the one that you use to jump off of the ground. And basically, what you need to do is when you hit the ground from shooting the first rocket, you want to jump as soon as that rocket hits the ground, so then you're shooting two rockets at the exact same time. Now a sink jump doesn't just have to be vertically down. You can also use it at different angles too. And when you're aiming vertically down, you want the most height that you can get, so then you can hit the ground at the same time with the rockets. But if you actually have enough speed, you can actually aim more in front of you, as long as you can hit the place at the same time. Like right here in this example, I'm not exactly super high enough to aim straight down for a sink, but I'm going fast enough so that the rocket will take you a little bit of time to travel before it hits the ground. Because obviously when you shoot a rocket straight down, it's going to hit the ground sooner than you would at an angle. And I especially like to do this when I'm market guarding. Because the rocket jumper, I don't take any damage, of course. I can get used to sinking rockets all the time and I can just fly across the map. It's really cool. So really, you just need to practice this as much as you can, because the timing is really important in sinks. And you're not only limited to two rockets. I mean, you can actually do sinks with three or four or five rockets. And when you want to do a sink with three rockets, this is going to be more tricky, of course. You actually want to shoot two rockets in the air, and you want to jump off of those two once you touch the ground. So when you're just starting to gain speed from falling down, you want to shoot a rocket so it kind of stays on you as you start to accelerate. So basically, the rocket is going to be about the same speed as you're going while you're falling. You want to shoot the second rocket almost exactly after you shoot the first one, so rockets will be in about the same area. And you shoot off of the ground at the right time, you can go incredibly high. It's really cool, actually. And although it's kind of tricky at first, you can really get the hang of it if you just practice. Last but not least, we're going to talk about speed shots. Now speed shots, kind of like sinks, require a lot of timing to do. And basically a speed shot is when you're using one of your rockets to gain a ton of speed right before you hit the ground. And it's especially useful when you're coming down from a high angle. Because when you're falling down, you're not going to be able to easily get into a speed pogo. But if you can time it just right, right before you hit the ground, you'll propel yourself forward and actually gain a ton of speed. Most of the time you're just going to be aiming straight down at the ground when you do this. But of course, sometimes you want to aim behind yourself too. It's really frustrating because there's no real way to explain how to do these jumps. I can kind of show you how it works, but really for the most part you just need to practice. And of course, if you want to learn how to use these jumps really well, I would look up a specific jump that you want to learn, like the upward jump that everyone knows about. Because on the first part of the jump, you may need to do a pogo or something, and maybe a speed shot, maybe you need to surf up a ramp or something, and you may need to use all of the advanced techniques just to complete a rocket jump. But once you learn how to do it and you really get a hint of it, it is so much fun to do. Like for fun, I like to just create a server and just get on the map and just sort of rocket jump around, like nothing super serious or specific. Really when it comes down to it, you just need to practice, you need to get the hang of it, you need to teach yourself where to aim and like how to do the timing and everything. There isn't an exact way to do rocket jumping. So really just go find a jump server or something, create your own server, get on a map or something, and just practice. So just put the time into it, enjoy rocket jumping, have a fun time doing it, and you will really get the hang of it. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope in these past two videos, maybe you learned a little bit from rocket jumping. Anyways, that's all for today. I will see you guys next time.